Hey, what's up guys? It's Brandon from Greenies Garden here. We're gonna show you another awesome gardening video. I'm looking for Seamus because it is Seamus' channel because I, I need him to explain what tree this is behind me, um, but I'm not too sure where he's at. So, this guy, Dude. look at this guy. Dude. Where are you coming out of right now? I'm coming out of uh, the largest royal point sand in Phoenix that I've ever seen. Like we're over at uh, Dr. Al's house this morning. It's like 5.30 Saturday morning. Ours aren't fully open yet. <laughs> we wanted to come see this beauty before the sun came up and the, it got too bright to film. So it's a Royal Point Sienna? It's a Royal Point Sienna. Wow. Flamboyana. And uh, this one here, if I remember correctly, is about 14 years old. And it's stunning. I haven't seen it in about two years, actually. And uh, so we came out this morning to come check this out. And it's the perfect time of year, too, with the monsoons, with the humidity. Mm -hmm. Everything's coming to life again. And this right. thing is like, Museum quality. Yeah, this property does feel pretty humid, and obviously humid. the plants like yeah. that. Yeah, this is really nice. Wow. You can see over on this side, there's actually one leftover flower from the from the spring. There's just a couple petals holding on. Oh yeah, there is. It'll probably put some more on here as as we get a little further into July. This thing is massive. You can see the size of the trunk right, right. on the inside. Right through here. In fact, we'll take you in, inside the tree here. Right. <laughs> this is a nice point sienna. It's just really nice. So, just looking at this tree, this tree can grow in Arizona pretty easy. Like, it's right here. This tree is massive. You know, the trick with these is to protect them heavily the first few years when they're young. So either container grow them, or better yet, put them in the ground and give them a lot of protection. Okay. If you container grow them, obviously you can bring them in in the winter. Right. Uh, but the better way is to put it in the ground, let the roots start getting established, and then just protect it as much as possible okay. uh, on the cold nights. And this one is actually frozen back a couple times, and that's why it's shaped the way it is. But each year that it comes back, <laughs> it comes back even nicer and it gets right. bushier. Right. So you have more foliage, which on a point stand is my favorite part of the tree. Like the flowers are nice, but it's the foliage, kind right. of that fern look. Right. Yeah, this really is, I said I said a hundred times this is a nice tree. Yeah. Like I can't believe the age of this thing. It's growing really nice here in Arizona. Um, you guys need to get a Royal Point Sienna tree. Point Sienna is one of my top three. Top three trees? Yeah, top three. Wow. Nice. Well, is there anything else you want to say about the Royal Point Sienna while we're right here under it? I'm speed. There's no words necessary. Yeah. There's no other words. I'm digging this. Grow a Point Sienna tree, guys. Beautiful tree, easy to grow for Arizona climate. Yeah, Doc, this isn't Dr. Al's yard. He did a good job with this one. Smart man, put this in the ground. Right.